the, what we see is a ball of light uh, with a slight extension uh, uh, and uh, uh, it doesn't look like a typical comet. You know, altogether, it's uh, very exciting because uh, we've never thought about the potential uh, implications of finding an object that big uh, that could uh, be something other than uh, a rock, an icy rock. We're about to explore seven of the most perplexing mysteries surrounding 3I Atlas, an interstellar object that continues to defy easy explanation, even for NASA. From improbable alignments and optical oddities to chemical signatures that rewrite cometary theory, every clue about this visitor challenges what we understand about matter beyond our solar system. Some of these puzzles are based on verified data others on daring interpretation, but together they form a portrait of something extraordinary. So what are the seven anomalies that suggest 3i Atlas may not be a comet at all? Let's start with the seventh anomaly, its apparent connection to the legendary WOW signal. The object's incoming path passes within about nine degrees of the coordinates linked to that famous one-minute radio burst recorded in 1977 by Ohio State University's Big Ear Telescope. The signal, which came from the constellation Sagittarius, has puzzled astronomers for nearly half a century. Its narrow beam width and sudden intensity made it one of the most intriguing unexplained detections in the history of radio astronomy. When 3I Atlas was discovered to approach from roughly the same area of the sky, imaginations caught fire. Nine degrees on the celestial sphere represents less than 1% of the total sky, close enough to seem uncanny. Yet statistically, that distance is far too large to suggest any real relationship between the two. No repeat of the WOW signal has ever been recorded, and the immense spans of time and space separating the events make any physical link effectively impossible. Still, the coincidence has proven irresistible for enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists alike. It has inspired online speculation, podcasts, and even speculative research papers. Statistically, though, patterns like this are bound to appear by chance especially when the search for meaning begins after the fact. The so-called overlap between the WOW signal and 3I Atlas is an example of what statistical, called posterior selection bias, our human tendency to recognize patterns once the outcome is already known. It's an eye-catching detail, but not an informative one, serving more as cosmic coincidence than cosmic clue. The sixth anomaly concerns the object's orbit, and it's one of geometry rather than coincidence. 3I Atlas follows a trajectory almost perfectly aligned with the solar system's plane, known as the ecliptic. Its orbital inclination is measured at just over three degrees, an unusually flat path by astronomical standards. For comparison, the two previous interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Borisov, entered at sharply inclined angles, 122 degrees and 44 degrees, respectively. Interstellar objects normally arrive from above or below the solar system, since they originate far beyond its gravitational disk. The chance that a random interstellar traveler would appear within 5 degrees of the ecliptic is less than half a percent. Observational bias might partly explain the coincidence, since Earth-based telescopes more easily detect objects that cross near the ecliptic plane. Yet, even accounting for that, the odds remain low. With only three confirmed interstellar objects so far, a pattern this flat stands out. The geometry invites speculation. Is this simply luck? A quirk of detection? or evidence of something more organized in the dynamics of interstellar debris. For now, the nearly planar orbit remains an outlier, a small number with big implications. The fifth anomaly deals with polarization, a property that reveals how light scatters through a comet's dust. Normally, as sunlight strikes and reflects off the tiny grains surrounding a comet, the light changes orientation depending on the viewing angle. At small angles, polarization tends to be slightly negative, but as the angle increases, it flips to positive, 
typically around 20 to 25 degrees. Yet, in 3i Atlas, something very different happened. Measurements taken by the Nordic Optical Telescope and Gemini North showed that the object's light stayed negatively polarized well beyond 30 degrees, an extremely unusual finding. Even at angles where all known comets display positive polarization, this one didn't budge. The readings were cross-checked on different nights, using different filters and instruments, and all confirmed the same trend. Negative polarization at such wide angles is almost unheard of. Scientists examined every possible source of error, instrument calibration, atmospheric conditions, stray light from neighboring celestial bodies, but none could account for the data. The simplest interpretation is that the dust surrounding 3i Atlas is composed of large, irregular, or highly porous particles, perhaps rich in carbon or complex organic compounds. A handful of known comets have shown similar, though weaker, behavior, but none to this degree. The finding remains under study, yet if confirmed, it would mark 3i Atlas as chemically and physically distinct from any other known comet. That leads to the fourth anomaly, its chemistry. Spectroscopic studies of 3i Atlas revealed a composition that doesn't resemble any known cometary mixture. Observations recorded strong emission lines of neutral nickel, wavelengths near 3,414 angstroms, but the expected iron, FEI, lines were conspicuously absent. Normally, nickel and iron appeared together in comet spectra, rising and falling in tandem as metal-rich dust sublimates. Here, only nickel stood out clearly, while iron barely registered even in the deepest exposures. Researchers analyzed the raw data repeatedly, ruling out atmospheric contamination and calibration errors. The imbalance held across multiple telescopes and nights. Traditional comet signatures like the cyanogen, CN, and diatomic carbon, C2 bands were visible but weak, implying that 3i Atlas may be poor in volatiles, yet unusually rich in heavy metals. This combination, high nickel, low iron, is extremely rare. If later confirmed by space-based observations, such as those from the James Webb Space Telescope, it would represent a composition almost alien to our solar system, perhaps originating in a stellar environment with different nuclear chemistry. The dominance of nickel could also influence how light behaves in the comet's atmosphere, potentially explaining the strange polarization measurements. Together, the missing iron and persistent nickel suggest an origin story far outside familiar planetary science. The third anomaly is purely visual and perhaps the most surprising to the naked eye. Images of 3i Atlas revealed a sunward-pointing plume, a faint jet of material streaming toward the sun rather than away from it. In every standard model of cometary physics, solar radiation and wind push dust and gas outward, forming tails that always point in the opposite direction of the sun. Yet here, the plume leaned forward, almost as though the comet were venting material from its leading side. The feature persisted across multiple nights of observation tracked by teams using the Gemini South and Nordic optical telescopes. Analysts considered projection effects, optical illusions caused by perspective when Earth passes through the comet's orbital plane, but those explanations failed to account for the steady alignment of the plume. Its direction remained consistent, suggesting a genuine physical jet aimed roughly sunward. Some researchers have compared it to rare cases of comets with vents near their subsolar point, regions where trapped ices erupt directly toward sunlight. Yet even those examples rarely sustain a plume this distinct or long-lived. The mechanics raise deep questions. How could dust travel sunward without being immediately blown back by the solar wind? Could the nucleus be rotating in a peculiar way, channeling gas jets along its orbital motion? Or are we witnessing some transient effect the traditional models can't yet describe? The regularity of the plume's behavior has even inspired speculation outside mainstream science, with fringe commentators reviving theories about energy extraction from the solar wind, or artificial control. While such notions lack evidence, the fact remains that the plume's geometry defies conventional explanation.
Future observations as the object approaches the sun may reveal whether this forward jet is a fleeting anomaly or a new kind of cometary phenomenon altogether. The second anomaly involves the object's sheer size and mass, which are far greater than expected for an interstellar visitor. Using brightness measurements and standard reflectivity assumptions, astronomers estimated 3I Atlas's nucleus to be nearly 5 kilometers wide, over three times larger than either Oumuamua or Borisov. The mass implied by that size exceeds 33 billion tons, making it a true heavyweight among comets. This poses a statistical problem. Models of interstellar populations suggest that for every large object like this, there should be countless smaller fragments crossing our line of sight, yet no such swarm has been observed. So far, the only interstellar bodies discovered have been one small, one smaller, and now one enormous. Either our detection systems are somehow missing thousands of smaller visitors, or 3I Atlas represents a rare outlier that challenges the assumptions behind those models. The large mass also offers an explanation for one of its other anomalies, its extraordinary stability. A body this heavy would be almost immune to the gentle pushes caused by sublimating gas. In comets like Borisov or even in Hale-Bopp, those so-called non-gravitational accelerations are measurable and often significant. In 3I Atlas, they're practically non-existent. Its size, in effect, makes it an anchor moving steadily through the void unshaken by the forces that buffet ordinary comets. That stability becomes critical in the first and most dramatic anomaly, its series of planetary flybys and its unwavering trajectory. On October 3, 2025, 3I Atlas was calculated to pass within 28 million kilometers of Mars, a close encounter by cosmic standards. Simulations performed by orbital dynamicists at the Minor Planet Center and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory estimated that such a near miss for a random interstellar object should occur less than 0.005% of the time. Yet that was only the beginning. After Mars, projections show that the comet's path will take it close to Venus, and later, on a more distant approach, near Jupiter. Each encounter is rare on its own. Together, they form a chain of alignments so precise that chance seems to stretch to its limits. The comet's trajectory was already locked in before it entered the solar system, meaning no gravitational assists could have fine-tuned its path afterward. It's as though 3I Atlas's route was prearranged, threading perfectly through planetary space. Even more baffling, despite visible outgassing, venting estimated at more than 100 kilograms of dust and ice per second, its movement shows almost no deviation from predictions. Across hundreds of observations collected worldwide, its non-gravitational acceleration has remained below 15 meters per day squared, a minuscule shift compared to the hundreds or thousands of kilometers per day seen in Borisov or Oumuamua. Its orbit remains a straight, steady line, unaffected by forces that should, in theory, nudge it. The simplest explanation again lies in its colossal mass, a nucleus so dense and massive that its jets can't significantly alter its course. But some astronomers, including Harvard's Avi Loeb, have floated a more controversial idea that the precision of its motion may hint at active control or an unknown mechanism of natural guidance. While most scientists dismiss such notions as premature, they admit that the combination of factors, the ecliptic alignment, the improbable flybys, and the almost perfect trajectory is statistically extraordinary. Taken together, these seven anomalies form a profile unlike any other comet in the record. The object arrives from a region overlapping the coordinates of a historic cosmic mystery. It travels on a nearly flat path through the solar system's plane. Its dust scatters light in reverse. Its chemistry favors nickel over iron, it emits a jet that points towards the sun, it carries the mass of a small mountain, and it moves through space with impossible steadiness, threading a course past multiple planets without measurable deviation. Any one of these traits might be written off as coincidence or error, but all seven combined make 3I Atlas an outlier of staggering proportions. Whether its origin is entirely natural or something more exotic, its presence challenges our models of how interstellar objects behave. For astronomers, it's both a riddle and an opportunity, a chance to test the boundaries of physics against something that seems to break the rules. 
For the rest of us, it's a reminder that the universe still holds secrets, capable of humbling our assumptions. 3i Atlas is not just another piece of drifting rock and ice. It's a message, however unintentional, from the unreached reaches between the stars, urging us to look closer, question harder, and never stop being surprised by what the cosmos sends our way.